Welcome to Geeks Varna. Today is a quick video to talk about an upcoming update to the Drone Assist app. The, the brains behind the app over at Altitude Angel have been working hard and it does appear we're going to start seeing regular updates to improve the functionality and the user experience of the relaunched app, uh, which was of course relaunched earlier this year, only, only a couple of months ago. For those of you who don't know, Drone Assist is a free to download and use app which gives you live information on flight restrictions for your drone across the UK. Um, we're lucky enough to get some advanced information on the upcoming updates. So if you are new here and um, you'd like to hear more about those updates as and when they happen and also lots of other drone related content, then do feel free to hit the subscribe button uh, to get those updates. Also, if you're one of our awesome regular viewers, please do go ahead and hit the like button nice and early. It really does help the channel. And I, I thank you all uh, very much for doing this and um, uh, on, on so many of our recent videos. And again, thank you everybody um, who is here in the live chat this evening. So that's the YouTube a bit out of the way. Now let's talk about the drone assist update itself. As regular viewers will recall from our last video regarding an update to the drone assist app, Back in early June now, triple SIs were added to the app for the first time. So sites of special scientific interest, or triple SIs as we call them, are those areas of land and water considered to best represent the natural heritage in terms of flora, animals, or geology. There are special restrictions on when and where you can fly your drone. I would recommend that you watch the full live show on this topic, which is linked in the description for more information on that if you need it. But to find out if you are flying your drone near a, a rare rock, who probably, let's face it, won't really care about your drone, or nesting birds, which of course need essential protection the drone assist app now shows all of that data we explained in that show that all you need to do is basically bring up the app look at the ground hazard zoom in and take the name of the triple si and then enter that into the relevant website of the managing body depending on whether or not you're in wales england or scotland including this info on the drone assist app is something which i think is highly valuable uh, for recreational and professional pilots which are obviously helping you to know where to fly your drone however However, in an update dropping just a day after this video is published, which is the 9th of July, you will now be able to get all the information without needing to remember the, the name of it or write the details down or, or anything else, open extra browsers, etc. This video of the update, which I'm now going to play here, um, actually shows on the desktop website exactly how this will work. So you will now zoom down and find out that you're obviously in a triple si as you can see here then you click as usual on the item itself and the usual menu opens instead of just giving the information in terms of the name you'll now have a link which will take you to the live page on the managing website this will then allow you to quickly and easily find out what that ssi is and what you should be careful of etc should you need permission to fly there you'll also be able to find out the information there as well so it, it's a really useful useful really handy uh, update now as, as i said and I'll, I'll say again in this video it does take you to the relevant uh, uh, page itself rather than just the generic website and then you're able to actually look up uh, exactly what that triple si is and what it's look seeking to protect essentially so this update really does reduce the work needed taking the triple si's to something which used to cause a good amount of confusion for drone flyers to an issue that you can solve very quickly now and you can also see in this app version running uh, here on the side uh, again the same process will work again in the app and again it's going to take you to the scotland wales or england site depending on what you need now there's a lot more um, even more exciting updates coming down the development pipeline at altitude angel so do keep an eye on geeks varna for the latest updates as and when they happen uh, if you've got any questions on this or anything else to do with the app let me know in the comments and i'll try to answer you or find out from the app developer uh, app developer themselves so there we have the as, as i'm playing that video out again there we have the very exciting um uh, update to the triple si side of things let's have a quick look uh who is in the chat and uh, uh see what they have to say uh, yeah andy cortez calling me an update monkey thanks andy i appreciate that uh john burns updated to include sites uh, that say you can't fly but can really yeah and, and and actually interestingly john that that's one of the good things about this update is it's taking you straight to the page um, and actually straight to that triple si's information so that you can get that actually um that that um um precise information basically which i think is uh which is excellent frankly um so again it, it starts to avoid the 
it, it starts to avoid the the general issues and and the general confusion that was around triple si's um, often you will actually find it's fairly simple to get permission to fly there as well should that be should that be required in terms of takeoff and landing etc we do have a, a show coming up soon where we'll actually be having one of the triple uh, si managers coming on live to talk about that in terms of how to get permission etc which is also going to be very interesting as well so as i say there we have it it's a very quick update for a sunday evening because we have this update going live live tomorrow which is very exciting so this will if you have your apps set to auto update it will already happen otherwise you can click into uh, the apple store and the google play store and update the app from there and then you're going to be able to access this triple si information straight from the app or of course as this particular video is showing use the the actual uh, website the um which again is which uh, the the drone safety map.com which is linked in the, the description as well so there we go um yes and <laughs> worley bloke is saying i realized what last week how much i depend on drone assist now yeah it, it is it is um it, 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 it it's an interesting one isn't it because of course drone assist and i've noticed that in some of the groups as well where somebody will say oh no this came up on drone assist what do i do when of course drone assist is supposed to be there to prompt us to check things to to notify us that there might be a flight restriction in the area and that type of thing and i really use it to prompt me to carry out other research to check what's actually going on um, and it's it is particularly useful for that uh, because for me it's the only one that's out there um, so many other apps of this type actually um only one out there that does all of this this kind of thing for me because so many of the other apps are either actually powered by the Alfred angel system uh, so so they are another version of drone assist or you have to look Log in and have a user account and that type of thing even to get the basic information which again with this drone assist app you do need to do that if you want to log flights and uh, ask for permission through their utm system and lots of the other services including the paid for services but you don't need to do that if you're just uh, logging in to look up airspace and access triple si information and that type of thing the stuff to get you flying basically uh, so to me that's actually quite exciting so there we have it thank you very much for joining us on a sunday evening it feels very strange to be here um but i uh, hope that information will be valuable to you and i'll see you next time on geeks Varna. lots of great content coming up um this week including uh, some very cool interviews and of course uh, quite a few live shows again so see you soon bye bye <laughs>